super see-through. Great, this is great. I am surrounded by so many clothes right now and I am so happy. So, in today's video, I am missing clothes. Shut the front door, hold on. <laughs> a few days before Thanksgiving, I was off from work that entire week, so I did some things, and I went thrifting. Um, so I claim to be from Columbus, where I work from Hardis, um, but I'm not actually living there. <laughs> Bummer, but help me try to convince my boyfriend to move. About an hour away from Columbus, and so when I wanted to go thrifting, I literally, I don't know if I have the note on my phone anymore. If I do, I like put a picture on this. <laughs> If not, then that's just awkward. Um, but I have a list, or had a list of places that I wanted to go to. I put the addresses, I put any sales that they were having that day. I did like, first go here, then here, then here. So it made sense as I was going around Columbus. I wasn't going from like here to here to here to here. You get what I'm saying. And so, boy did I have fun. And boy, did I not go to all the places I wanted to. Oh my gosh, I have another thing. Now that I've had enough exercise for two days, I'm finally ready. Oh my. Oh man, now my battery is about to die. Half me. All right, well, 20 minutes later, had to charge my battery, and I think we're freaking ready to film this video. So, anyways, I went to many, many places. I've tried to record this portion about 10 times, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the 11. I went to the house, thrift, played with closet, and ragarama. Nailed it. My cat, a little One demon cat more. today. She was laying on me, minding her own business, minding my own business, purring, because I thought she was happy that she bit me. Anyway, so I got a plethora of items that I was so excited about. I'm still excited about them. I can't believe that I found like some great thrifts and uh, it was great. So <laughs> how many times can I say great? Today's video, I'm going to show you all the things that I bought. Now, the majority of them I bought for my Poshmark closet, which is linked down below. Head there and you will see the majority of these items posted on there for selling purposes. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first couple things that I bought, I am keeping for myself because I tried one of them on and it fit me like a glove. I tried the other one on and it's something that I've been looking for. So this one you've actually have seen already on my Instagram. It is a black blazer that is oversized, which is totally in style right now. The brand is Forever 21. I got it from Plato's Closet and it was literally only four dollars so this is a thing that i'm going to be keeping for myself but this is very basic it's not like anything special it has pockets i i love it i'm so glad that i found this because it is exactly what i wanted and i'm so happy the next thing that i bought and it is this green dress from forever 21 as well it is a velvet material spaghetti strap so not very seasonally appropriate but it has this really cute detail number right here that i really really like i got it for seven dollars and it's a size small and it just fits me so well that i just couldn't pass up on it especially when it was seven dollars into the jeans that will not fit like one of my thighs <laughs> I found these size zero, no size one, I'm sorry, um, jeans from Bowl Head. I absolutely love the wash on them. It's just such a unique color and I'm going to post pictures that I have on my Poshmark closet and I did not edit them at all and it just is such a cool material I've never seen before. Wish there were a pair of these in my size. I got those. Um, I have a list down here. I got those as uh, at Plato's Closet as well, and they were only $7.50. So the next pair of jeans that I got are $25. Now, these are close, but not quite there to what my size is. I typically wear like a 27, 28. And these are just a really, really cute pair of um, Ann Taylor Loft jeans, and they are kind of like a straight leg bottom. I think that these are absolutely adorable and they're in perfect condition. These were from Plato's Closet and I only paid five dollars for them. So I bought this um, shirt, <laughs> obviously. 
it does not fit me. It's from Love Addy, like love dot 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 Addy. It's a size small, so it didn't really fit me. I was afraid that if I put it on, I would like rip it. Um, it was marked down to $5, but then it was half off, so it was $2.50. And it is this really cute, like dark denim material. Like it, it looks like denim, but it feels like cotton. So it's really cool. It's really dark and blue and has some like black mixed in with it. I just thought that it was really, really cute. It's um, the sleeves, the straps are about like two inches and then the bottom kind of like puffs out. Not like extreme. You'll see in the pictures. It's just kind of, I don't know. I just think that it would look really super cute on the right body type. Oh, I found it. See how it just kind of like flares out. Um, and I just, I don't know. I just think that the detail on it is just really adorable and I love it. And the inside is like kind of a satin, but not a satin material. I don't know. Super cute. So then this item is my pride and joy. It is practically in perfect condition and I got it for $5 and it is retailing at over 260. If this fit me, we'd be in business, baby. So this is from the brand WGB by Walter Baker. No clue who that guy is. So it is a size large and the sleeves, as you can tell, are a nice leather material and it kind of looks like a quilted pattern. And then this really nice olive green that goes with it. I don't know what it is about this jacket. If it was a medium, I would totally keep it for myself, but it's not, unfortunately, it just, looks really good and it's just kind of one of those statement pieces that you could get in your wardrobe without it being too flashy and I just think that that is absolutely perfect. So then I got, I'm going a little out of order, but at Ragorama, it is a store on Ohio State campus. I think they may have different stores throughout the states. Um, but it is a resale store, but it's very nice brand, but are also trendy brands, but they do price them quite a bit higher. When you go there, you're still paying a substantial amount that is, in my opinion, a little pricey for thrifting. However, I think that you can find really nice items if like you're not looking to resell them and make money off of them. If you want to buy a certain piece and not pay full price for it, I think it's absolutely great. So I got, I got one item that I've already actually sold on my Poshmark closet. It, I will put pictures on the screen right now. So it is this sweater from Madewell. It says extra, extra small and that is... <laughs> bizarre to me. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be an oversized sweater, but for me, it was just like the perfect fit sweater. It was this beautiful mustard color. I got that for $14.50. It is honestly, I went back and forth if I wanted to sell it or not sell it, and I chose to sell it, but I absolutely loved it. I kind of miss it. <laughs> then I found this bad boy. So you have seen this on my Instagram already, and this is a nicer velvet type of material than the one from Forever 21 and that is because it is from Winster. The V part that you see around my breast assist, there is a wire in that V so it's not flimsy, it just stays nice and straight and um, if you had boobs this would look amazing on you. And I paid $13.50 for this. Everything that I bought is in great condition, which if you want any, you know, thrift tips or you want to go thrifting, you just don't really know how to be good at it or you've gone and you just like never have any luck. I actually put up a blog post. It will be linked down below for you. And it's my five tips on how to be successful at thrifting, at least in my experience. So Go read that if you want a quick read and if you're interested in it. The rest of the items that I purchased were from Ohio Thrift and this was where I was second most successful and I found some super cute items. So first we have this sweater and the tag says Bethany Moda. Now if any of you know Bethany Moda like I know Bethany Moda <laughs> and I pretend that I know her. But if you follow her, I mean, she has like 10 plus million subscribers on YouTube. She's incredible. She had a collaboration with Aeropostale. I'm assuming that this is what that line is from. So this is a size medium, definitely an oversized sweater, like kind of like, um, I don't know, like a gray blue color. I found this for $2.99, but it is just so cute and it's just so comfortable. It's perfect for like laying around the house, honestly, or going out and tucking that front into 
your uh, pants and it's just it's good she good the next one that I found was this black Tommy Hilfiger turtleneck now this is a size large but for me this would personally be a little tight for me it is incredible material very thick I'm sure it's very very warm Tommy Hilfiger is making a comeback right now like it's all the rage with you know the hipsters I found this for $1.99 and it is in perfect condition like there is nothing wrong with it and it is just so cute the next thing I purchased was this Croft and Barrow like pull over sweater thing it's obviously red it's a size large I don't know there was just something about it that I was drawn to and maybe the fact that it was only $1.99 but I do think that it is super cute and would be super warm perfect for Christmas time since it's red it's you know not like a Christmas sweater but still a Christmas sweater then I found this bad boy and it is a J. Crew coat now I don't really know what type of coat this is because I can't find something extremely similar so it's definitely not on their current line however it is still super like in trend right now it's just such a beautiful jacket again perfect condition and I believe I found it for $5.99 and J. Crew stuff is typically like $100 so that is literally incredible like I cannot believe that I found something this nice for $6 then I found these authentic Levi's jeans. Now, Levi's jeans are all the rage right now. The idea is, um, this won't fit me. <laughs> this is like a double zero. Um, yeah, just a zero. The idea is, is that you like take it and you just kind of distress it and now you have a vintage pair of jeans that are absolutely adorable. So Levi's are what everybody wants right now, that and Lees and Wrangler. So these are straight leg. I found them for three dollars. So I'm assuming that when somebody crosses this and it's just exactly what they want, they will love. There's some stress to it, especially around the pockets, and I think that that was intentional. Um, but it just adds to the aesthetic and the cuteness of the jeans. So the last two items are items that I actually absolutely love. They're probably some of my favorite pieces that I found. Um, I don't and I. I I don't really understand why, <laughs> but I love them. So I found this dress from Barry J. Now I will show the try on portion. This is like more of a prom, maybe a bridesmaid style dress. Has this cute little detail right here. When I say that I love this dress, I absolutely mean that I, I really love this dress. And a part of it is because it's a very nice brand, didn't know I had to look it up. And I found it for $2.99. It fits my body so well. And it's a size 7, 8, and it just like kind of hugs it in the perfect way that just gives you that hourglass figure. And oh, I love it. The only part I don't like is the neckline. I wish that it was a straight across neckline. That would make it a little bit more trendy right now. Um, kind of like the, the sweetheart neckline is not as in as it used to be. And then lastly another dress this is from my Michelle it's a size 14 um, it's a little big for me which is why I'm not holding on to it and you're just it's a little like little girl on the prairie dress but stick with me because it is so cute it was only $2.99 it is a navy blue color it has these super cute like little um, button-esque things and it ties around the waist. I think that just kind of like the style and the idea is very, very in. You would look at that dress and not think so, but I just, I don't know, there's just something about it. You know, a nice like style maxi dress that you could wear to practically any occasion. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. But that is everything for this haul. I love thrifting and I love taking you along with me. I just get so excited when I find things that are on sale and just cheaper and it's just fabulous. Leave a comment about what item is your favorite? Because I want to know. If I had to choose, I would say ugh, so many of them are my favorite. I would have to say either the black dress or the J. Crew jacket because they're both just such cute finds and I adore them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss every single time that I post, which is typically on Sundays. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.